Hello, ABC families. Today, I would like to talk to you about what is a prayer and why do we have to pray. Um, lately, I've been thinking about uh, the reasons why we pray and, and why is it important for me to spend time in God's presence. And I think this is important for, for you as well. Um, I like that I can have a conversation with God at any point, at any time. And I love to know that God will actually answer to me in his time and when he's ready to do so. Um, a prayer is a conversation, it's a dialogue that you can have with God where you can actually let him know how you feel, what you're praying for and what, what your expectations are. And then he will answer on his time. I like to read from 1 Thessalonians 5 uh, verses 16 to 18. And it says, rejoice always. Pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I love that it says pray in all circumstances, right? There's different types of prayers, uh, prayers of gratitude or thanksgiving as we know it. Prayers when you are looking to hear God's presence in your life. And those are spiritual prayers that we have. We just want to get to know God better and know what he has uh, in in the plans for us. There's prayers of petitions and that's when you come to God and you ask for a specific request, something that is in you that you know that he will do or you want him to answer. Um, I relate a prayer in a way, a relationship that you may have what your parents and kids is the same relationship that God has with us. When you have a conversation with your kids, right? Um, you want to hear that they're doing well. You want to hear when they're crying. You want to hear when, when they're feeling sad or happy, when they have a success or a sad story to tell. You want to be there for them. And it's the same way with Christ Jesus, with our Lord. He wants us to come to him at any point, any time. And he's ready with arms wide open uh, to be there to uh, give us that hug that we need, clean our tears if we need to, give us that words of affirmation or, or answer with that wisdom that only God has. So I will be praying that you and I can continuously seek for God's presence, that we could continually ask God, how can you talk to me? How can I serve others? And how can I see your presence in my life? More now than ever, we need to come to God's presence and ask him, Lord, here I am. Use me and tell me what is your will for me. And don't forget, if God doesn't answer immediately, he has a perfect time to answer the prayers of those who seek for him. So I will be praying for you that you have that motivation to wake up every morning and seek his presence. Until next time, church, bye-bye.